Hello the bloggers. Um, I want to just uh, do a little special for blog today as a result of something I read in the Daily Telegraph or more to the point I read on the website as a result of something tweeted at me because I don't read the Daily Telegraph. I don't read the Telegraph. I need to make that clear. Um, and uh, it's about the fact that apparently 15% um, of the country of Britain now have gone teetotal. Um, and so I want to just say a little bit about why um, I'm teetotal, why I don't drink. Um, I haven't been drinking now for about seven years. I gave up on St. Patrick's Day in Ireland um, when I was uh, living over there. Um, at the time, I was living with a lot of uh, very drunken people, and uh, I saw a lot of stuff, because uh, I'm a street performer, saw a lot of weird stuff on the streets. Um, and St. Patrick's Day was kind of the breaking point, where by about three o'clock in the afternoon, um, people were already trolled to the point that they were like you know defecating in the street and all kinds of stuff you, you don't want to know um and so i just sort of ran away from the street right there um i was you know, working obviously busking at the time and uh i uh, decided then i was going to try and give up drinking completely and you know seven years later i'm gone um but uh i mean the short answer of why i don't drink now is uh that you know, i don't need it in my life um i really uh, don't feel the need to have that Th there is a long answer which i'll sort of try my best to kind of you know not go too much into detail about um but uh, uh firstly i guess i don't really approve of the of the industry of the things that it does to people it's basically i think it's an industry that can be very reckless and doesn't care about the damage it does to people and i don't want to really support and fuel with money the uh, something that you know can cause that much destruction um i mean alcohol kills more people every year than all illegal drugs and gun crime combined uh another sort of disturbing one is roughly in the time it takes you to drink a glass of wine or, you know, a short, a, a rum and coke or whatever, um, 30 to 40 people will die of alcohol-related deaths. Um, over 50% of all domestic abuse cases in the US alone, and 50% and all, and of all homicides in the US um, are alcohol-related. And the, the University of the State of our, Iowa found out that 90%, 90% of all rape on campus was alcohol-related. And that's that's terrifying. I mean, all of that really is sort of you know. I mean, I didn't know this stuff when I gave up drinking, but it's sort of things that make me feel like I, I couldn't go back because I couldn't really, you know, support something that that sort of wantonly does this. And you know, I think I don't want to be too cynical here, but I'm quite sure a lot of the big high manufacturers are quite aware of this and don't de don't care, <laughs> really don't care. The only sort of reasons that most people um, give to me about why they do drink um, is that uh, um, is that A, because they enjoy the warm, fuzzy feeling you get after you've had a couple of drinks, which I know well, it's a nice feeling, don't get me wrong, I've, I've been there. Um, and, uh, and the fact that you lose your inhibitions, which I also kind of understand as well. And of course, although I get the warm, fuzzy feeling thing, I I really much prefer those feelings like that that I get now um, without alcohol. And when, whenever I see my girlfriend smile, I get I get a feeling that's very similar, better than that. I think. I mean, I don't want to be too mushy here, but you know, if ever I accomplish something, or ever I you know do something great, or just you know, or surrounded by friends and just happy, you know, or, and relaxed, I'll get a feeling that's that's just like that. Except it doesn't it doesn't drain as the evening goes on. As even if I you know even if I don't drink any more, that's. Um, when I've got that feeling, when I drank, I, I found that, you know, it sort of turns into something a little kind of sticky and fuggy and not, not, not very pleasant by the end of the evening. And as for losing inhibitions, I mean, I, like I said, I don't really have any major inhibitions anymore when I, when I don't want to. It's a, inhibitions really, when it comes down to it, are a mind over matter thing. Their only natural inhibition in the world, actually, is shyness. Um, you look at children, the only natural inhibition they get is um, is shyness, which is something which is obviously naturally brought up through evolution. You know, the ones that didn't trust strangers are the ones that lived. <laughs> and thus, uh, shyness is, is a natural part of our, our lives in that respect. But... Um, I mean, all the other inhibitions that we build up over the years are just stuff that I think, you know, I don't want to say purposefully build up in us because I'm not quite that kind of conspiracy theorist. But there's something, there's, there are things that, you know, we build over our lives because when, when you're a kid, you don't have any of that, you know. And deep down inside, I don't think 
most people want to drink and do drugs and stuff like that. We all really want to play. We want to we want to play stuck in the mud and playmobile and uh, and cops and robbers, but uh, we uh, but we're not allowed to anymore. We have to we we have to go by what society says we can do as grown ups, um, and you know our inhibitions get in the way of us doing that kind of thing. When we're kids, we don't have that problem. I mean, I mean dancing is another brilliant example. When you're kids, you just you kids just dance all the time they don't care when you're an adult you've got to be you know you've got to be slightly intoxicated before you you can dance because you feel embarrassed i mean and where does this come from where, how did we get to that state because dancing's amazing dancing is one of the best releases in the world and i can tell you as someone who's done it both under the influence and sober that the release you get when you're sober from a good dance is miles better because you don't have again like that, that fugginess in you you don't have that that thing that's kind of you know, coercing it, perverting it all. It's just you out there getting all this tension and madness out of you. Um, and uh, and so, yeah, that's uh, it's one of those things that we, I think we really, I mean, uh, one of the reasons that I, uh, that I busk, one of the reasons I'm a street performer is that I think street performance has this property. It We stand in the middle of, a, of, of the urban environment where people are at their most restricted and we tear them away from that world for a few seconds and let them play. We turn into children and we get that massive release and then send them back. And the, and the number of times people have come to me and said what a terrible time they've been having, but how much, how amazingly better they feel as a result of having been through the, the street show that I've done is one of the things that keeps me going through that. I mean, if you look back at a blog I did last year, you'll see um, about one of the really extraordinary experiences that happened as a result of a, a street show that I that I did. Um, and so, yeah, as as someone who can who can bring about that euphoria that people that people often turn to alcohol for, and you know, to be honest, don't really find. I I really feel I don't need it in my life, and don't ever want to have something like that in my life so so that's why I don't drink that's why I'm very happy to say I'm part of the of the 15 percent who don't drink alcohol in this country and I think that's kind of all I want to say cheers <laughs>